Hello and welcome to episode 9 of Old Faithful. My thanks to Perfect Wave Production. My thanks to Black Hills Blend. For the third week in a row, Maddie made the coffee for us. How's your coffee? Great. Awesome. Well, all my thanks to my guest for being on the show. This guy called me. He got a hold of me and he said, hey, do you need a shredder? And I said, hell yeah, dude, come on the show. We're about to lose him. He's He proposes to move to Florida. Yep. And a whole bunch of us are going to miss him. Why don't you tell us about you? Well, I'm Rob Ross. I've been living here for 56 years. I've been playing bands for the last 30 years. Played in bands like Dogs Without Sweaters, Silver Street. Uh, last band I played in was Hunter Proof. That unfortunately I had to quit that band because I'm going to be moving to okay. Florida. We got some family down there that we want to see more, and uh, that's just how things are going right now. Yep. On to the guitars, guitars plural in this case. We kind of sort of have one guitar or one guitar and the first guitar if you have it, but when they have a set, they can bring two guitars. And this set is sort of an homage, and I don't mind, I don't think you'll mind me no, saying that to a very famous player. Yeah, Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen. There we go. Tell us about the purple one here. This is a PB Wolfgang. Uh, this is probably released in the late 90s. I bought this from Haggerty's Music Works about 20 years ago. Original owner. Done a few little uh, upgrades to it. Upgraded the hardware. Uh, just little things to keep it in tune, make it more stable, give it some better tone. and basically just a stock guitar except for the uh, mods I did to it. Okay, and you put a new, flip that over again, please. You put a different block in? Yeah, there's a sustaining block in there. Okay. That's what they call yep. it. Um, what originally comes with this is a, just a metal block. It's kind of thin. And sure. It sounds okay, but this is just makes it sound just more. Does the great Eddie Van Halen leave the control cavity off the back? Um, I think he does. He does? He does. And there were two springs in there. Is that how it originally came? Yes. Uh, of course, if you're going to do dive bombs, and yep. he that does dive bombs, and we're going to hear some dive bombs, uh, you have to have the locking nut. So it locks the strings into position here, so it, it's harder to go out of tune. Yes. Uh, these guitars can be really hard to set up and keep in tune, but once you get them in tune, they stay, they're pretty solid. Sure. Yeah, so did you change the the tremolo bridge as well, or just the block? I just changed the block, Okay. and there's a titanium inserts that I installed here I got off the internet. Okay. And just, just little mods, they were kind of, the old ones were wearing out, so I decided to buy new ones. Aha, uh -huh. and it, it's got two humbucking pickups? Yep, Eddie, Eddie Van Halen designed humbucking pickups. And a three-way switch, and a yes. volume, and, and a tone knob. Yep, but the only other thing I did to this is I installed a tap up uh, uh, control on this so okay it, it, it just uh, splits the coils in the bridge position on the bridge yeah. that did not come no, standard. no, no. That, that, that that was something i added any van halen don't yeah. need no coil tap no switch. you don't need that we can talk a little bit about this okay this is a stripe guitar at evh version of it this is frankenstrat red white and black one one humbucking pickup floyd rose pretty basic guitar it's got a Drop D, D2 on oh, it. Oh, sure. Oh, it, it just drops this down to a D so you don't have to unlock right. it up here. And uh, other than that, it's just a basic guitar. It. Did you put this together or No, no, buy I, it? Bought, I bought it that way. Okay. It says EVH on the headstock. Who made it? Fender. Fender made, oh, the Fender EVH. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Yes, in the in the yeah. early 80s, I think, you would know more than me. but Kramer. Yes, and Eddie Van Halen took several guitars and he made one guitar out of them and then he did this crazy paint job that was very similar to this one. Yep. So anytime you see a guitar like this, uh, you're going to talk about Eddie Van Halen. Oh yeah. So now behind us we have a whole wall of toys. <laughs> he is today using the Mesa Boogie uh, speaker cabinet from the store. This is not Hang on, let me get this in. There we go. There we go. Yeah. This is the Mesa Boogie cabinet from the store. It's for sale here. Um, and you like the sound? You would oh, yeah, highly recommend some shredder. And, and so then tell us about the rest of this. Well, this is a 
TVJSX Joe Satriani's signature head, but this uh, three channel app has got clean, rhythm channel, lead channel, most of the time I'm just on the lead channel. Right. But uh, it's a pretty versatile amp, so it's it's pretty solid amp. It'll, it'll How be many adjusted. watts? It's 120 watts. 120 watts. Yes. So it's a very big boy. Oh yeah. Do you, when, in your various bands, have you always gone through a cabinet or did you ever oh, yeah. go through the PA? I always got through the cabinet. There Went might be a, cabinet. a couple of times where I've tried uh, using the Line 6 pod stuff, you know, back oh. in the 90s. I, I went direct a couple of times, but okay. it's, it's really hard to hear yourself sometimes. You just need that cabinet on stage right. just for a monitor. I actually oh. owned a 5150 model for a while, but okay. it was just such a loud amp. Right. That it was kind of uncontrollable, so this thing has a master volume, which oh. you can set your volume here okay. and just turn it down so it's not killing everybody on stage. Up top, what do you have here? I've got this uh, TC G Major. Uh, this is just giving me all my effects right now. I'm not okay. running any pedals. All right. This just has a compression. It's got a little bit of chorusing, uh, reverb, and delay on it. And that's about all I'm under right Okay. Um, to get the Eddie Van Halen sound, and and you have done all of this, uh, he used a cocked wah a lot. Do yeah. you use that on I've stage? I've got a wah, but I, I don't really do the cocked wah. I, I pretty much just do, uh, for pedals, I'll just use a, a EVH phaser. Okay. I've got the flanger. You know, I've got a couple of boost pedals that I use along with it, which, you know, I've, this really isn't the biggest setup you've ever seen, but it just it gets me through the gig, you know, and that's you just need it. Uh, set up for the gig that's going to do a lot of variety of music and this thing just doesn't sure. fit for me. We can't just do Eddie Van Halen yeah, in, yeah. in these little hillbilly bands yeah. up here. You uh, got to do a lot of variety. There's a whole bunch of guitarists out there right now saying, you got to say brown sound, you got to say brown sound. And Eddie Van Halen came up, more or less pioneered what was called the brown sound and it was this guitar into an amp like that and in between was an MXR phaser, and a phaser is an effect. Yes. And also a cocked wah pedal. The wah pedal was originally made to help guitarists emulate the sound of a trumpet, because we were all trying to do that. Right? Yeah. And then Jimi Hendrix came along and said, this ain't for no trumpet. <laughs> we make awesome rock and roll with it. Yeah. And it's essentially a volume knob on a pedal. And so what Eddie Van Halen discovered was he could use it, instead of using it as a sweep, he could set it to a frequency he liked and leave it. And that was the cocked wah sound and the phaser. And then you just had to get a little manual dexterity through practice. Yep. Yeah. Lots of practice. Lot, lots and lots of practice. Um, so you had a 5150. Where did you get this head? I actually got this off eBay. You got it off for eBay? About seven 700 bucks off eBay. Okay. Do you remember where it came from? Uh, uh, probably Michigan, somewhere in okay. And uh, you were talking about switching the tubes. Does that require different sockets or you just put... No. This no. thing is set up so you can run two different sets of power tubes. Okay. Alright. So right now I'm running EL34s and this has been modded to run the 6550 power tubes which just gives it a beefier low end. But right now I'm just using the EL34s in there, so I'm pretty good in there. Right okay, now. all right, cool. Um, well, I think we've about covered the, what was your first guitar? Oh boy, I think it was a Harmony Acoustic. A Harmony Acoustic. And I don't have it anymore. You don't <laughs> have it anymore. I'll, I'll enter the frame uh, again. One second. This, this guitar here, uh, was featured on the episode with Scott Gooch. This yep. is me and Scott's favorite guitar in the shop. It. This is a Harmony Acoustic. It might have been something like this, or it, it might not have been. <laughs> yeah. I think it had more of a red, uh, like a candy apple finish. Okay, it. all right. Um, when did you first hear Eddie Van Halen? Hmm, one of my fr my buddy buddies uh, introduced me. I just saw the two-handed stuff, and that's kind of what got me hooked on it. It, was that when you decided you wanted to start playing guitar, or that was actually after? After, after I started before, actually before Van Halen came. Out, okay, so. you were playing campfire songs yeah. and stuff. I was kind of in the REO speed wagon. You oh know, sure, a lot of the 80s, let me 70s, put this back. Seventies glam rock, that kind of thing. 
Oh, uh, and were you in bands doing that? Uh, I started, but it was just nothing real serious. Okay. What kind of guitar were you playing then? I think I was playing like an old Vantage Electric. Okay. I got for about a hundred bucks, and it was it lasted for a while. Right. I did a lot of trade. I need to watch what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. We won't lose the guitar, but uh, yeah, that's a lasted me for a while, and then I just kind of got into the gear trade, and you know, and just buying and selling a lot of stuff, and eventually I just got onto the Eddie Van Halen guitars, they just seemed to work for me, you know. Right. Uh, they, they sure helped getting the Eddie oh, Van yeah. Halen sound, oh, yeah. but you like the playability of them and oh, the yeah. comfort The and neck everything? is just nice and solid, it's a bird's eye maple neck. It's and that is nice. a beautiful neck. Yep. And uh, it's just a nice guitar, I just... I don't. I can't ever part with this guitar. It's going to be in the collection for a long yeah. time. Yeah. Do you have the original case and everything? Oh yeah. With yep. It? Yep. yep. Original case. It's that's been your old faithful since oh, the day yeah. you got it. Yep. For Over at years. Hagerty's. Yep. Over Music Works. Once again, the retailer across town. Yeah. Yeah. And they they don't make this model anymore, yeah. do they? Mm, actually, they make it, but not not with the Eddie Van Halen name on it. Okay. So it's just basically the same guitar, but it's not a Wolfgang. It's okay. a PVH2 or something like that. Sure. And then Eddie Van Halen went on to make licensed guitars with... Yeah. With Fender. With Fender. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Sure. Well, um, let's see. There's only one guy who can tell us to change our strings today, Rob. Uh-oh. Sure. Eddie Van Halen says, change your string. Change Ladies strings. and gentlemen, Mr. Rob Ross. Thank you. Yeah. If you want to stand, you can. Okay, that'll work a little better. Go ahead. Yeah. 